I recently got back from some Lego travels and you guys know what that means. I visited a new place with a new Lego store and this time was the Disney Springs Lego store in Orlando, Florida. Of course, this is one of Lego's more flagship stores, one of the largest stores in the US, which means they have the Lego minifigure factory. And here in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the Lego minifigure that I created. So you guys, this is the box that the Lego Minifigure Factory comes in. You guys would have seen this on many of my other Minifigure Factory videos that I've made over the last couple months that every time I've gone to a Lego store with one of these Minifigure Factories, the box is the exact same, but I'll quickly show you here in case you are new to the channel. Here on the inside is the Lego minifigure that I made at the Disney Springs Lego store location. So I'll start by taking out the actual Lego minifigure here uh, that I created and custom designed and built from the minifigure factory. And then guys at the top here, you can see that the custom 1x3 brick is in here. It's got Lego Disney Springs on it. And if you pop it out, you guys can actually see that it has my name on the other side, which is Brad. A really cool Lego brick and a great addition, to, of course, to the minifigure. Taking a look at the minifigure that I made here in a little bit more detail, this is what the final product looks like. So for starters, unfortunately, even though it's at the Disney Springs Lego store, they are not allowed to have anything Disney related because they can't have any licensing or anything like that because it gets into laws and copyright and stuff like that when they're printing ununique images or in like images that they're just licensing and not the owners of on Lego minifigures, which means they would have to pay that brand a licensing fee, which totally makes sense. I never even realized something like that when I complained about what happened at the Disney store Lego Paris, but they were telling me that there. However, even though they didn't have anything Disney at the Disney Springs Lego store, they did have some Florida parts, which were really exciting. Unlike Paris, they had absolutely nothing unique to that Lego store. Um, that was a total bust. This time, at least, they had some printed parts. So you guys will see in a little bit more detail, this is the minifigure that I made using some of those custom printed methods. Starting at the torso here, the base of the torso is actually an American flag on a little bit of a tilt. It looks really cool there. It's got all the, you know, the, the stars and all the stripes and everything that looks neat. On top of that, I actually used a sticker piece, you know, one of the decorations, and layered it with the Florida logo. So it's the Florida word, and it's got like a palm trees, which looks really cool. And then right below that, I added 2023. That makes me being, I'm, you know, I'm here in 2023. This is when I visited the Lego store. Most of my other ones do say 2022, so super excited to, you know, throw this one here as well. You guys can see I am holding two Lego minifigure accessories. You're only supposed to grab one, but I grabbed two for this Lego minifigure. One being the gauntlet and like the, the cocktail cup, because, you know, you're at Disney, you're at the beach, you're probably having a cocktail or two. And then my other accessory was this Lego boombox, which just goes to show, you know, Florida was a party. I went to Miami, really good times, lots of great nightlife, lots of music, and it was a blast. The pants here were pretty basic. I didn't really like any of the options that they had, so I just went with this gray pair uh, with some pockets and some chain. I really like the head piece. I think it's got a really nice smile and it looks very, very sharp. Unfortunately, I didn't really like any of the hair options that they had, so I ended up going with this dark tan one. Doesn't really look like me or the minifigure I was trying to, you know, create, but I thought it was really cool nonetheless. A lot of other Lego stores, sometimes I'm able to find some minifigure accessories that kind of relate to that Lego store. This one and, you know, the, you know, the boombox and the gauntlet were a little bit of a stretch, but they still relate to Florida in some ways. Anyway, now that you guys have seen the front of the Lego minifigure and you've seen the front torso, I'm going to flip it around to the back and show you the back design. I went with a little bit of a different one here. It is not a continuation of the Lego flag pattern just because I wanted to switch it up and try something new. It is a Lego minifigure flag. This was just another design option that they I could have put on the front as well. But it is the white, red, and blue. It's got three stars down at the bottom here, and it's kind of like a pattern, like a stripe pattern. In the middle there was the white, which I thought was the most perfect opportunity to add a couple stickers as well to represent Florida. First sticker that I added was a Lego alligator. This was fun because when I was in Florida, my friends and I actually went on an alligator tour, which was really cool. In the middle there, I've got iHeart Orlando, which is awesome because, you know, that's where Disney and I spent a lot of time there on this trip. And then on the far right side, I included the sun because, guys, it is Florida. It is sunny. It is hot. It is pretty epic. So there is a pretty big contrast between the front of the minifigure and the back. I personally love the front. I think I did a, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I think I did an excellent job. And I think this one's going to look really great on my display stand of all of my other collectible minifigures from the minifigure factory. 
Overall, you guys know how much I love the LEGO minifigure factories. I love going to the LEGO store and I just love building these to commemorate, you know, they're amazing souvenirs for when I go to different LEGO stores all around the world. I wish LEGO did more at their LEGO stores to have, you know, special and unique things that you can only buy at those stores. I think they would make a ton of money and I'm absolutely shocked that they don't do that. But LEGO, get on that. It's something you need to do. But until then, I will continue to make these like LEGO minifigure factories everywhere I go because it's just such a nice, unique addition to my time at the LEGO store. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video of the Lego minifigure factory. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to check out my Lego haul from Disney Springs where you saw I picked this up. Of course, the tour of the Disney Springs store and the video I'm making showing you my experience building at the Lego minifigure factory and the Lego minifigure factory experience at the Orlando Disney Springs Lego store. Anyway, you guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video.